Hey guys, Portia here. Today I'm going to create an SVG. Now I have done it with words before, but I wanted to work on faces. And so I'm gonna go ahead and create the SVG with a face and we are going to upload it into Cricut Design Space so you can see what that looks like. Now for this particular, um, I guess, project that we're gonna do, the size really doesn't matter. So let's just pick anything right there. And what I want to do is start with the eye. So I'm going to go to elements. Now with this, you are able to use the free elements that come, the pro that come with the paid, or you can even upload your own design. Uh, but for the sake of this, we're going to go ahead and use what's already in here. And I like this pair of eyes, which is going to pretty much be the center of the piece we're designing here. Now SVGs are versatile and as in you can change the, the size of them very easily and the color and then you can find a lot of them on Etsy and if you want to learn how to make them yourself, that's pretty much what we're going to do today. So we already have the eyes, let's go ahead and add in the hair. And there was some hair here that I liked, let's see. I think it was in this set here. Oops, I don't want that. I want this. This is actually giving me print vibes right now, but it will be all right. All right, so we're going to shape this around the eyes. Now I wanna make the eyes a little bit smaller. And I'm kinda of trying to work in layers here. And I wanna turn this a little bit. so that the eyes fit the face correctly. But I still want the brow and lash to show. Okay, that looks pretty darn good to me. Let's go ahead and get some lips. Now, I'm not good at noses yet, you guys, so this model will not have a nose and I decided that it's gonna be okay. Um, so the thing I learned about making SVGs, the simpler the silhouette, the better. So I want to find a simple shape for the mouth. The more details that the image has and that you're putting together, the more pieces that the SVG will create. And right now, we just want to keep this really simple. Not sure if I like this mouth yet, but it'll be okay. Let me see. Oh, okay, no, we're fine. We are fine. See that? Sometimes you surprise yourself, but I ought to stop messing with it. Okay, great. And the next thing that I want to add in is some words above our model's head here. Wanted to make it a little bit smaller. So we're gonna put words here and below. So let's get a text box going. And these letters are white. Oh no, they're black. Thought they were white. And so we are just gonna say boss. All right, so boss. And I'm gonna duplicate that box. and say lady all right that looks pretty good and i'm gonna center these words here all right and i'm not gonna leave it plain like that i don't i don't leave anything plain i have to have a little bit of a flare or a flourish and the font that i like is called aston script pro bold because it has a little bit of whimsy to it. Uh, fonts are very important to tell your story. So that's why I like that one. And I did get it from defont.com, which is pretty much where I get all of my fonts. All right. And so as you see right now, everything, I'm keeping it black, but that's for a reason. Like I said a bit earlier, we're gonna transition over to Cricut Design Space and that's where we can play with color. I think that we need one more thing here and I'm gonna go back to elements and I'm gonna type crown. Let's put a crown 
on Boss Lady's head. These crowns are awesome. All right, now she really looks like a boss. Should have said boss queen, but we're gonna roll with boss lady today. For the tutorial's sake. All right, so you can play around with it. Of course, you can make these words anything you want. The point of it is, I just wanna see how this face looks when we go ahead and transition over to design space. So guys, this looks pretty good here. I am gonna go ahead and say download. And for this, we are gonna download it as an SVG. This does come with the pro version with a transparent background. And just hit download. And we don't need all this other stuff. Now, if I wanted to, I could have downloaded that as, say, a ping and used it for sublimation. Uh, but we're going to do SVG, and you can use that for vinyl if you want to. So let's hop over to Design Space. We are going to upload the image we just downloaded. Boss. Open. All right, so it came through exactly the way it should have. We're going to hit Upload there. I'm gonna insert it. Now we have our boss lady here. And if you look over here on the right hand side, all of the pieces came in as their own part. So what we wanna do is go ahead and group like pieces together. So what I wanna start with is the words. And so we are going to just select all of boss lady. Let's make sure I got it all. And we are going to say weld. All right, so that's all stuck together now. And let's work on the crown. So you see the ball and the crown and the actual crown shape. And we got a little triangle here. So all of our yellow parts, we are going to select. And make sure I didn't miss any. And weld once again. And it looks like our lashes are in pieces. So let's grab all of those pieces. And we are going to weld one more time. All right, and I don't know why I have two mouths here. I, I don't know why that happened. Mm, your guess is as good as mine. But we're gonna hide one of those and the mouth is just what it is. All right, so now at this point, we are able to say, play around with color. So if you want boss lady to be pink and you want the hair to be purple or wait, I didn't even select the hair, y'all. Okay, let's select the hair over here. You want the hair to be purple, you can totally do that. Um, it is up to you how you want to make your adjustments, but for the most part, um, this is what you end up with in SVG that you can play around with. So if we move these pieces, you know, and it looks like I left something over there. I don't know what that is, but I decided it's going to be okay for today. But yeah, guys, this is all I have for you. If you got any questions, concerns, emotional outbursts, let me know. If you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe to Color Me Portia. But until next time, peace.